every time we come out with a new car, it has to be so much better than the previous car that it replaces, and it has to be best in its segment. And coming second won't do. Oh. <laughs> I believe this is the best HSV we've ever done. I think it's the best product we've ever done, and I think it's the best design we've ever done. I'm very proud of um, what we've been able to achieve. The, the engineering team have done a fantastic job. It's the biggest program we've ever undertaken. After Holden finished with Peter Brock in, in the early 1987 period, Holden talked to a few people about bringing them on board to do a performance brand and a, and a range of performance vehicles. And Tom was absolutely a first class fit. He was a racer. But alongside that, he, he had a business brain and he wanted to get into road cars. Tom, for me, was a figure that I'd admired from, from very early days in my career. Um, I'd been at college, I'd seen Tom racing a TWR Jag XJS at Silverstone. He actually achieved an awful lot in his life in terms of bringing to the world some of the great car programs. He's an inspirational guy to be around. He was always two and three steps ahead of anyone else in the room, and, and you could certainly learn a lot from him by just, just being around him. Tom has been involved with this program, Gen F, ever since it started right up to the last meeting I had with him three days before his, his untimely death. The legacy goes on. It's business as usual. We have something to do. We have a new car to deliver, and we're going to do that, if only to maintain uh, Tom's legacy. We proposed the, the, the specification to Tom late in 2009, and we walked him through our investment profile, our feature content, our technology levels, and then we took him into the styling studio, and, and he saw the many, many different guises that uh, Julian was working on. The HSV should be bold. It should have a clear graphic that means you can pick it out in traffic and know down the road it's going to be an HSV. I think the first stage of a design process is you start with a, a series of sketches and you tend to bring all kinds of different um, qualities into the themes and you're exploring all kinds of different elements. But I think then you should go through a process of almost pairing that back until you've got one really simple, focused design. Power is one of our sort of brand pillars. Our, our customers always talk about our power, and 325 kilowatts in the other three have been around since 2009. So there's a little bit of pressure there coming from customers and from sales and marketing, and they're wanting a bit more out of LS3. We weren't sure what the number would be, but we need we needed something that was was not just a, a couple of kilowatts. We wanted something significant. So 340 was a number we had in the back of our mind. We are often compared with some of the best cars from around the world. And in order to do that, we have to have standards of performance that match them. That's more than just putting a big engine in a car. We have to have the electronic systems that go with it to make it safe. We also have to have the electronic systems flexible enough to make it exciting and enjoyable. I'd like to see it appeal to a broader international market too, and for that to really capture the eye of of the cream of the performance car makers, because I think we've got a real weapon on our hand with this car. 